said, and I really didn't think that, that was appropriate, right. considering that I'd gone to them, I'd gone to them with a business proposition, I wrote it out in full, in triplicate, I had all the forms, I'd gone to the relevant constabularies, I'd gone to the several constabularies, I'd even collaborated with several different kinds of coagulation. Coagulation is what happens when things collect into bunches, you know? I had several hunches. You know, I took them out for business lunches, you know, I wore my hair up in bunches, you know, I like to give them the scrunches, that's the thing. Because, like, when I get stoned, I often give them munches, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, if you hunch your shoulders, you know, then you find that these things start to roll. Us, you know, that's what we're doing, we're not on a bus, that's all we're saying, we're just like sitting here on this public transport to be like. <laughs> Um, 
because I was a beatboxer and I started beatboxing. I've been beatboxing since I was three. And, um, but when I was in school, it was like, you know, it wasn't really, it wasn't like. So, in effect, you know, it's chicken and egg, which is really what I'm trying to say. 
But when it comes down to it, there's only certain things which the human mind can tolerate which exist outside of this terrestrial plane. So it's, it's very important when considering these things to think about how it is that we can best configure our minds to adapt. For example, the horse is, is light on its feet. It, it has the legs of a chicken, <laughs> which kind of buck backwards. That's the term, it's bucking. And that's what the horse is doing. But the back at the same time is buckling. And while the joints are in an inverse parabola, the barrel inside the horse, which contains the beer, enables the beer to swill from the tail right through to the nape of the neck. And the horse is a direct descendant of the ostrich, which can easily be seen in the following diagram. You see, the main body of the horse is descended from the cat family, but the ostrich blood remains in 25% of the horse. So, what's all this got to do with beatbox? Well, fuck all. But the important thing to remember is that I will destroy, I will destroy you by both the psychology force and the others. But back to the program in hand. So, um, when I was very young, I always dreamed about putting a horse inside an egg. And I just, I just wanted to know what it would be like for an entire horse to be inside a chicken egg. Um, but I never realised that dream. My other dream was to be able to walk up onto a stage and just sort of make music. Um, so that's the one I pursued. I knew that, and thank you, I knew that the horse egg thing just wasn't going anywhere. It was never going to go anywhere. It was a fucking stupid idea. And I know that now. I know that now. I've learned. But that's what's important, you know? We grow, we change, we move on, we progress. Uh, we change colour, even. You know, we go out to the sun, we tan. That's what the sun's for. The sun is there to help us tan. Plants were an afterthought. Plants, chlorophyll, oxygen filled atmosphere biodegradable black materials, all of these are secondary to the idea of tang and making sure you look really nice and shiny. It's nice to look shiny, some people put oil all over themselves and they kind of do the ground and they're really shiny. They reflect the sun, which actually contributes to global warming. So if you're seeing them doing tang oil, you should slap them, not hard, just go. If you see someone on a beach town, they shiny. But um, yeah, looping is, um, is, is loads, loads of fun because, um, you know, I used to put oil on my loopers, uh, <laughs> but I found out that, you know, it wasn't a very green thing to do, it was bad for the environment, so I stopped, you know, because I like to make sure that everything I do is in, in, in line with um, Al Gore's expectations. Um, I actually played to Al Gore. I played to Al Gore, and I also played to the, minis the Minister of Finance for China, and it was at, this, at the same gig, and I, I was shitting myself. It was, a, it was this Google Zeitgeist event, and um, it was like, I did this speech about how the world is, um, God, it didn't make any sense, um, it didn't make any sense, and Al Gore was looking at me, <laughs> you're wasting my time. <laughs> Minister of Finance of China, I don't know what he was thinking, but it was probably Chinese, so I wouldn't have to understand it. Anyway. But, um, <laughs> it was weird, man. Um, but I don't know, I've done some weird gigs in my time, like I've done that, and I still do like all these different things, all the way from like sort of really insane raves and like really, just just really strange, because that's the thing, like beatbox has its own kind of fascination. Like beatbox is a, it's kind of a skill, I suppose, so people kind of want to see it. So I kind of find that, I mean, recently I've done a tour. I did this tour in the UK, and um, what we were doing was trying to bring together all these disparate elements from the different shows that I've done. So I wanted to show you some, some video of this, but I don't have any. What I do have, what I do have, well, I was trying to get internet, and um, like all good um, internet-based conferences, I couldn't get any internet, so that was good. But, um, <laughs> but, um, there was one video that I, that I can show you. This is a, a thing which I did with uh, an orchestra called the Heritage Orchestra. And these guys are, there. that's um, Heritage, just the key word. I'm supposed to go Heritage and then a video.
Yeah, the system works. Okay, cool. So um, before we before we first play, what this is is um, I've got this whole fixation with improvisation, and um, this orchestra is amazing. Um, they they just do lots of experimental projects. They do lots of stuff with interesting people. They did a thing with the Bays, who are another band who do improvisational stuff. So this is something that I did with them. This is all improvised, and I'll explain a bit about how we did it after we've watched this. I apologise for the sound. <laughs> Like, you know, they 
they're sort of they start really softly and then they kind of get to like a big crescendo and but there's no music necessarily in here, so that's free improv, it's just fucking noise and it's really shit. But um it's it's good if you want to get into that kind of thing. If you're willing to put your mind into that stuff. And that's what a lot of improvisation tends to be. Like there's um there's improvisation in music where you have to have structure and you have to have, you know, if you basically if you've got several members of an audience. Sorry, a band. You're an audience. Band would be able to say. If you have several members of a band who are trying to improvise together, you need structure. Which is why free improv for music kind of works, because there's just none. It's just noise. And you don't need structure. Um, but for a solo performer, you can improvise and you don't need to tell anyone what you're about to do. And that's why looping is so interesting to me is because you can be an entire band and you can improvise. Because for me, beatbox has always been kind of, um, it's just, it's kind of a trick, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's kind of, like, it's, it's a party trick. Like, I mean, people tend to sort of like it and it's, it's all right. But it's kind of, um, I won, I won the Beatles Championship in 2006 and then again in 2007. And for me, that was like the moment when I, re- when I thought I could, let, I could leave it behind. Because actually I thought that that was the point where I kind of proved that I could do it and now I was just going to move on. But it's, it's interesting that people are still fascinated by beatbox. And the, but it's cool, beatbox keeps kind of growing and there's loads of kids these days who are looking at YouTube and they're gaining this skill set, and the skill set is growing and growing and growing. Um, but I believe it's kind of tapering off. I think it's kind of reaching the top of the parabola, and it's actually getting to the point where you can't get any more noises out of the human mouth. Like there's several kind of noises you can make with the human mouth. You can use your tongue, so you can make different kind of noises with your tongue. Massive 
banging of buttons and knobs and sliders and stuff, and we just sort of um, used it to make the album basically live. And then it took about a year to kind of go through all these jams and edit the crap bits out, and then sort of trim it and make it sound lovely and put, you know, redo vocals. But so it wasn't live at all, was it? No. But no, but the essence of what it was was essentially live. But this is the thing, I'm kind of fixated on the idea of, of making stuff live and and ensuring that everything is as live as it can possibly be. As I say, I wish I had more videos to show you of stuff. I don't know. Has anyone seen like videos of stuff that I've done in the past anyway? Yeah. 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 So yeah, so you know what it is cool, really is cool. <laughs> But um yeah, I mean um blah 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 blah. <laughs> I've talked an awful lot. Has anyone, has anyone got any questions? And I will answer those questions. No one has any questions. I'm oh, cool. How are you? Oh, okay. Well, thanks. No, no. Um, I think before I um, before I before I go, I think I just want to um, play you a song. And this song is a song which I, oh, oh, we've got a question. Did someone say there was a question? <laughs> um, no, but are you trying to sell me insurance? <laughs> You're not. Well, um, thanks anyway. You're right, I probably should get around to showing my vocal cords. If anyone does want to sell me any insurance, I'll be out in the lobby later. <laughs> so you can sell me that insurance. Um, any other questions? <laughs> oh, we got one. Yes, I can actually. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 